We saw a pretty big drop in both silver and gold this past week, so I decided to take a little trip out to my local coin shop, which is of course Castor Valley Coin, and just to see what they had to offer, see if there were any good deals. So I made a pretty big purchase, a big purchase for myself at least, and I'll show you guys that here when I get out there. I recorded some footage. I was also able to take some footage of some really cool old gold, uh, some cool old sets that he had, as well as some old currency, some old gold notes, uh, silver certificates, and just a bunch of cool items that you'll find at a coin shop. So please stick around and we'll get right out to Castro Valley after this. Stacking Cat. Welcome to the Stacking Cat channel, where I talk all things silver with a little bit of gold. If you want to see more of this type of content, then please subscribe and push that notification bell. If you enjoy this video, then hit that like button. Okay, so I'm back here at Castro Valley Coin, as you guys can see there in the background. I'm going to try to buy the dip. I might have waited a little too long. We're here on Monday, June 21st, so the first day of summer let this car pass really quick, head on over there. I talked to them earlier here in the day and they said they had some gold here, one ounce size. Been saving up for that, so hopefully go that route. But I'm about to enter and uh, let's hope we find something good. Inside the shop and the one ounce gold coin that I'm gonna take a look at if I can pick it up is the one ounce 2021 Gold Britannia a hot coin here in the silver stacking and gold stacking, I should say, community. I've seen a lot of other channels that have bought this coin. One of the more highly sought after uh, gold coins that we've seen for the year. So I don't know. This might have to be the pickup. A lot of money, a lot of cash, but converting that cash into gold sounds like a good idea. So this is what it looks like, uh, 1900 in cash. I'm paying a little bit more than I would have at an online site, but I like doing business with these guys here, and it's, it's like a $20 difference. So I'm going for it regardless. Beautiful coin, and you can just see what that one ounce gold coin looks like with all this cash. I'll take the gold. They're being nice enough to let me check out some of their cooler gold uh, items that they have in a few banknotes here in a moment here is some old pre-33 gold you guys can see all the different denominations they have two different ten dollar pieces they have the liberty head of course and the uh liberty indian head combo is what it looks like to me i guess it's just called an indian head the ten dollar of course we have a saint godden's in there we have a uh, another double eagle in the liberty head design but a lot of uh, nice coins there. Just flicked another half eagle or eagle there on the table. But here's a, a 1986 American Gold Eagle. The original year, the first year, of course, it came out. We're seeing the design change. So something like this might be pretty sought after. Now, it's in a case. This is an aftermarket. It doesn't come from the mint like this. It would be a little, a little more... Uh, it would be packaged a little bit better, but you can see the Roman numerals. It's the old design, long gone after this, but it all started right here in 1986. So we have the one ounce, the half ounce, the quarter ounce, and the one tenth. Love the uh, Roman numeral design. I wish they did not take that away. It has a little more kind of like prestige or honor or history to it. I don't know uh, what the right term is, but... Really exciting to uh, just take a look at that. Now, we also have some really fun looking uh, banknotes here. Here is an old gold certificate graded a PCGS, a 64. So this is in phenomenal condition, valued at $1,100. So not all cash is trash. Not all cash is trash. I know it was backed up by gold back then. But if you were to turn this thing in for the uh, gold coin at the time, one of those double eagles that we just saw earlier, it would be worth a lot more if you would have just kept this 20 bucks and you spent it and somebody didn't know any better. Then you'd be out a lot of money. But $1,100 for this note, of course, you could have gotten like a St. Gaudens or whatever it may be. 
or a uh, Liberty Head Double Eagle, and it would be worth a lot more than that, but still a pretty fun thing to look at. Here's just a classic silver certificate. Now this one is a little bit higher priced, especially in the condition, which is a 30. You would think it wouldn't be that high of a price, but it is going for $1,000. It is a rarer year, or a better year, I should say. Got to use the correct lingo here. And uh, yeah, Federal Reserve note, $5, silver certificate. Uh, that is a really fun item. And now he has some other currency here. Here is a five cent note, which goes for $300. Of course, graded to 64, really high. But that thing's cool too. We have Washington on the front. Surprised to see him on a nickel. That's like the, the $1 look. But yeah, just a uh, nickel banknote pretty rare hard to find and now we have some foreign currency this is a chinese yuan or yuan don't know how to pr pronounce it exactly so please forgive me but this is another one this one i believe he said he already sold it on ebay so i guess i'm handling it after the fact uh <laughs> i don't know if i should be broadcasting this but it went for over 500 dollars. i won't give you the specific number and now here's one that is the highest priced of them all. It is another Chinese note. And it is kind of the same thing. I can't tell these apart, to be honest with you. It's graded only a 15, but it is valued at 1675 US dollars. So pretty expensive, pretty rare, uh, sought after note from the people's republic of china 1949 200 yuan i think that's how you pronounce it i don't know but that's a lot of money for that thing uh for me though i think i'd rather have something like this here's another one of those indian heads it's so weird though because it has the headdress with the liberty uh image on the face so i don't know we'll call it what it is it's just an eagle ten dollar gold coin but uh, this thing is pretty cool, 1911. Um, they made these. This came out, of course, after the regular uh, Liberty Heads with the Incuse Indians and the St. Gaudens. Changed things up a little bit when Teddy Roosevelt was in, I believe, the last year of his presidency. So, yeah, just some uh, fun gold and some banknotes to look at. Like I said, this is what you see in coin shops. You go in there and just have a good time checking everything out. So let's get back home. Okay, so that ended up working out pretty good. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at some of that old gold and old currency. Just always fun to look at that kind of stuff. And uh, the gold Britannia. So I'm going to head home and we'll take a look at that Britannia a little bit more. And I will see you guys there. I am back home and we will take a better look here at this Britannia. Of course, this has been a very popular one ounce gold coin as well as fractional gold coin throughout the stacking community. I've seen a lot of different channels uh, who have picked this one up. Of course, it has the different security feature where you see the trident and it turns into a lock. I know it's not that easy to pick up here on camera, but it is there. So, yeah, this is a really hot coin this year uh, trying to buy the dip which is not always the easiest thing. We don't know how the market is going to react. So you might think it's a good buy one day or something that looks like it's a good buy because the prices are down. If you wait a few days, then you might miss out. But I decided to take my chances. I was in there on Monday, June 21st, and the price of gold and silver both dropped, I believe, the Wednesday before. So Took some chances, but it didn't look like it was going to go up anymore, and it hasn't since. It's really kind of settled in, or gold has in that high 1700 mark, and it's just where it is right now. We'll see what happens here in the near future, but it was a good time to buy, and I'm glad I finally got this thing. Uh, it's been on my mind for a while. I was going to get just the quarter ounce, however... I called him up and he said that he had a one ounce in stock and maybe I overextended myself a little bit, but I think it's just a really nice gold coin to add to the stack. A one ouncer, the Royal Mint, of course, puts it out. 
very beautiful coin with all the security features. So just something that I wanted to go ahead and purchase. And when you're stacking silver and gold, always purchase what makes you feel the best. And at this time, it was this. Uh, gold eagles and buffaloes are a little bit too expensive or high priced right now, uh, in my opinion, compared to... Let's get that thing focused in there. Like I said, the eagles and buffaloes are just way too high priced right now. Premium wise, I still think silver is too high priced, especially when you're dealing with some of the more common coins like the American Silver Eagle. Of course, we're going to see the Type 2 come out pretty darn soon. Here is a Type 1, so kind of the last, well, not the last hurrah It's or the last round for that. It's going to be out there for quite a while. Um, you're going to be able to find them. They were out for 35 years. So, But it just seemed like a uh, good time to buy gold. Silver premiums are still really high across the board. I know the price of them also dropped a little bit, but when it comes down to it, I just think the better purchase right now is gold. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always like going out there and showing you the different things that I see. You know, I'll never be able to probably buy that four coin Eagle set or the pre-33 set or any of the currency, but it's always fun to just look at and kind of admire from afar. So that's why I like to uh, do those things so everybody out there can check them out. Okay, so if you'd like to see similar videos about silver with a little bit of gold, then please subscribe and push that notification bell, smash that like button, and leave a comment. And until next time, this is the Stacking Cat.